Okay, so now in this video I thought I would make a quick demonstration of the light dependent resistor here. So, it's a resistor, but depending on how much light falls on it will determine what its actual resistance is. So we're going to come back and um, I won't be able to hold the probe steadily enough. So I have these alligator uh, clips there. I uh, crimped just with pliers the uh, clips to the jumper there. So we're going to clip that on there and uh, now the uh, black probe is attached to that lower side of that light dependent uh, resistor. Doesn't matter uh, which side you uh, measure there. The resistance is the same either way. So a red probe, same thing right there. Not too complex and go there. So now based on how much light is falling on this, my lamp is at, okay, I thought it was the brightest setting. It was not the brightest setting. So now it's at the brightest setting and uh, so that's in kilo ohms up there. Um, so I'm just measuring uh, resistance right there. I don't have to move the red probe for this meter. Other meters, maybe you will. This one we only have to move for our high current measurements. So that's kilo ohms there. Uh, 2,260 ohms. And you know, I can cover with uh, my hand right there. It will go up, um, but we'll dim the light there you can see eight kilo ohms and right there you can see that uh, now we're at uh, about 400,000 ohms I think it's moving a bit because there's a little animation on the TV but I'm covering with my finger now that's mega ohms that's millions of ohms uh, nine million ohms and I think if I uh, take one of the uh, uh, black alligator clip covers I thought I had one within reach and uh, cover this, I believe it'll go over 200 million ohms. Um, so it goes to many, many millions of ohms when it gets dark enough. And uh, so we will get this lighter, this uh, flashlight. Okay, um, got the flashlight on there. Now it's only 300 ohms. And if it gets bright enough, um, I think it gets well below 100. There we go. We got uh, 100. This one doesn't flash on and off. So yeah, when I angle it right, um, I think I usually have a pretty easy time getting to like 60 there we go like 45 so if I get the light just right it's lower so um, whenever you see a uh, light dependent uh, resistor right there that's what it's doing the light is changing its resistance and uh, let's take a closer look at that so here we are that's the schematic symbol right there it's a resistor symbol uh, usually it's like circled but arrows are coming in that means it's responding to light uh, coming in and there's a closer look at the component that is uh, probably good enough right there um, but I got the uh, light out of the way to help reduce the glare and there you can see so those two dots that's the uh, wire leads there that's the solder point on them um but uh, yeah the um, photoresistor, light dependent resistor there, tends to have the uh, swiggle lines right there. Now there's um, some that have like uh, slightly different colors and the lengths of the lines might be different, the swiggles might be bigger or smaller. Um, so they don't all have the exact same resistance at the exact same light if you use a different part number, but they all respond to where the resistance goes up as it gets dark and the resistance goes down as it gets brighter. So this isn't everything you need to know about light dependent resistors. Just look at circuits that include them and uh, learn what they're doing in those circuits. Um, but if you don't understand that the resistance actually changes when the light changes, uh, it's going to be more confusing trying to learn those circuits to begin with. So hopefully this helped you. So in any case, uh, check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. Check out the videos I'm posting on the screen. And I will see you in the next video.